Gude. Today I really have some exciting news to share with you. Being enthusiastic on the field of privacy aware and locally running voice technology, the hardware part has always been a struggle. So a nice and clean device you want to put inside your living room and not to hide somewhere in your garage, combining a good room compatible microphone and speaker, which is locally operating and additionally easy to use. And that's been a struggle for years. But now, make some noise. <laughs> Sorry for that. But really, make some noise for this little device. This is called Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition. And what this little device is all about will be topic on my new YouTube playlist or video series called Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition. <laughs> Simple. And um, let's start in this, so the first episode with an unboxing and a first look to the technical specifications. In the upcoming videos, we'll take a closer look to how you can integrate it in your Home Assistant installation and how you can update it and way and many topics more. So please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hitting that notification bell to not miss any upcoming videos. And please let me know in the comment box what topics on this little device you would like to see on this channel. And now, without further ado, let's start with the unboxing. While trying not to cut my fingers off, as this is my first unboxing video, please let me know what you think on this cool voiceover. I thought this might give this video something special and is obviously not because I did not activate my microphone during recording. By now I can say the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition is perfect for you if you need additional paper at home. So the packed device, front side. Come on, who should read this? Well, this doesn't make it even better. The first thing we have is a sticker, OK Nabu, which is the wake word that will trigger the device for waiting for a request. OK Nabu. Then we have a quick start guide, which is really helpful. Even I was able to set it up with it. And obviously we have some filling material for the waste paper bin, also known as warranty and safety information. And woohoo, congratulations! Video is running nearly three minutes and we have a device. Boo, most boring unboxing ever. Um, I meant even if your first impressions of Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition couldn't be more professional, I want you to share some additional photos taken by Nabucasa. So we have the upper side on the device with the push button. We have a microphone. We have two on the top, so this is just one, but trust me, we have an integrated speaker, but we have an audio jack for plugging in external speakers. We have a hardware switch to disable the microphone and we have the upper side on the device. So you can see two speakers on the left and the right, the LED ring and some package content. Not just some, but all package content. Let's continue this journey on the first episode to the technical specifications. So now let's take a look to a document uh, with additional information. So we have the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition is open source privacy focused voice assistant hardware for an easy integration obviously into Home Assistant. But I'm really curious if this cool piece of hardware can be used with other open source voice technology software. So, but at the beginning, obviously, I will take a closer look and that's this series is all about on the Home Assistant integration. But please let me know in the comment box if uh, you are interested in uh, giving this a try in additional not Home Assistant uh, environment. So uh, we have uh, advanced audio processor, dual microphones. So not sure if this is uh, good to see here. We have this uh, two microphones on whoa where is it gone so <laughs> two two uh, microphones on the side so uh, we have um, an led ring light and uh, this button in the middle so this button and the led ring light and this can be used to adjust volume and uh, we'll take a closer look to that one so 
let's go down build for home assistant as i've mentioned i'm curious if this will uh, work with other technologies or softwares for open source voice technology too um, no assembly required that's really helpful for people like me who have no talent in building hardware stuff uh, ourselves uh, just use a usb-c cable and power supply uh, and it's really easy to connect to your home assistant installation. It's really affordable with just uh, $59. Uh, it's really an attractive, I guess it's a really an attractive uh, price, but please let me know in the comment on what you think. So, and it's uh, available uh, from today. So December 19th, 2024. So we have a local operation. So if your language is supported, uh, you can fully run it uh, locally. So with uh, using Whisper for speech to, <laughs> speech to text, so speech recognition or Whisper, no, Piper TTS for text to speech, speech synthesis. So you can run it completely local without internet connection. If you have no uh, huge compute power available at home, you can use uh, Home Assistant's cloud technology to do the voice processing on Home Assistant's uh, cloud infrastructure. So privacy focused, uh, language support, um, Home Assistant community is uh, amazing on improving and adding more languages and uh, increase the quality of existing languages. So best voice hardware, advanced audio processes, dual microphones, and uh, this audio processor cuts through noisy, which is uh, really useful because if you let this device play some music and you would like to stop playing the music, obviously the device has to recognize what you say even while the music is playing. So we have this LED ring uh, light, we have the physical uh, button for volume control and LED uh, color choosing. And we have this uh, button in the middle, which can be used by default, I guess, uh, to uh, skip the wake word, uh, so hey nabu uh, activation word, and directly call the actual command. It's based on ESP Home. It's open, completely open software, firmware, hardware. So I guess in this case, this should really be easy to integrate in other technologies and softwares like Home Assistant or apart from Home Assistant. And now we have the specifications. Uh, okay, it requires Home Assistant to operate. So hmm, I'll give it a try in the future. So now we have some hardware specifications and being absolutely no hardware guy at all, I'm really no expert what this means but uh, maybe this is helpful for you if you have a better understanding of hardware than I do. Uh, obviously, echo cancellation is uh, useful. So if you have a little bit of a distance or have a lot of echo because of a larger room size, uh, this is uh, really helpful for doing a good speech recognition afterwards. It's powered by USB-C, so five volts easily to integrate in your uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, you have this uh, audio headphone jack adapter that is uh, apart from the actual USB-C power connector. So maybe this is to see, not sure. So we have this USB-C connector and the audio jack. Um, we have some additional audio input details, physical controls, the button, the rotary dial for volume and other input, microphone speaker. So the software, as mentioned earlier, it's ESP home or ESP based. Requirements, home assistant, okay. Mm -hmm. Some hardware recommendation, which is nice, I guess, uh, because running an open home assistant or locally running voice processing, you probably want fast response times, I guess. So language support list, as I've mentioned, is constantly growing. And the dimensions of the device and the weight. So I guess that's from this official document here. 
in the next episode. So please subscribe to my channel, hit, the not hit that notification bell to not miss the next video. Uh, I will power this device up and integrate it into my local Home Assistant installation. And that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know in the comment box and I wish you a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.